Ireland. Most of you have figured out that's where I'm from. A misguided few have thought England, Scotland or even Australia. Some especially repugnant mouth-breeding bottom feeders have even suggested my accent is fake. I can only assume this is coming from Americans whose idea of an Irish accent comes from their litany of horrid media representations, which are often done by people who are not Irish. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Christ almighty. Also, Ireland, like most countries, has a lot of different accents. I hold a personal deep-seated hatred of the stereotypical Dublin accent, which is unfortunate, because that is where I'm stuck living at the moment. So rest assured, if you don't recognise my accent, it's because it's from a place you've never heard of, which for most is probably everywhere outside of Dublin and Belfast. But don't feel too bad, you uncultured git. A lot of Irish people can't place my accent either. It's just not a very distinctive one. With all that said, you might be surprised to hear this is the first ever Tales from the Bottle episode based in Ireland. Why is that? Well, this series usually focuses on sensational, bizarre and unbelievable stories and Ireland is generally a fairly dull and miserable place where only bad things happen, like being surrounded by Dubliners. Any noteworthy occurrence in Ireland is usually fairly tragic, making those stories a little too depressing to be told on this series. That is not so for today's episode. I mean, people still died, and I guess if you stop and really look at it objectively, it's pretty sad, but I'm going to put a comedic spin on the whole thing. It's Ireland. There's a massive whiskey fire. You have to escape. But you're Irish. Fire bad, but whiskey good. What do you do? Yes, believe it or not, all the people who died in this fire died of alcohol poisoning. How? Let's see. The year is 1875. It is evening time on the 18th of June in central Dublin. In a storehouse where 5,000 barrels of whiskey are being stored, a fire breaks out. Exactly how this happened is unknown, but the fire spread quickly. The fire heated the barrels of whiskey to the point of bursting, and as the whiskey began to flow, it carried the fire with it, which only allowed the fire to spread even more quickly. This being Ireland, you'd think the whiskey storehouse being on fire would be an earth-shatteringly disastrous occurrence of apocalyptic proportions, but actually, no one noticed it was happening at first. Now, back in those days, it wasn't uncommon to keep livestock in the city. I mean, you'll still find plenty of fucking animals in the city today, but you won't see any livestock on the streets like it would back then. It was actually pigs who were the first to notice the fire and squeal in terror. If you've ever heard pigs squeal, you'll know they are an unusually loud animal and their squeals are extremely piercing. It really makes you wonder why they have that ability, but the cacophony of pigs alerted people in the area to the fire. Good pig. Everyone in the area managed to evacuate quickly and save what animals they could from the fire, which was now making its way down the street on a river of whiskey. It must have been utter chaos. By now, so many barrels had burst in the fire that the stream of whiskey stretched several hundred meters down the street and was six inches deep, like me every night. As people were fleeing, they realized that the burning river was made of alcohol, and some started to drink from it. Yes, while it was on fire, people used jugs, caps, boots, and even their hands to lap up the precious alcohol, and a drinking session erupted on the streets. The amount of whiskey flowing had a value of 6 million euro in today's money, so there was a lot of this stuff to go around, if you didn't mind the raging inferno. And this was 1875, when you heard about a massive disaster happening in the city, you'd travel over there to have a look at it. There was no TV, that was entertainment back then. And so, people from all over the city joined in the drinking, and everyone got absolutely shit-faced. People were literally drinking themselves into comas. At least 24 people had to be brought to hospital. Not from burns or smoke inhalation or anything, but from drinking. And if a whopping 24 people drank themselves into the hospital in one area on one evening, imagine how many more were just monstrously drunk. 
When the fire brigade showed up, they had quite the problem on their hands. The fire was massive and spreading fast. They knew trying to fight it with water wouldn't work, as the whiskey would just float on top of it like oil and spread even faster. Instead, they tried to stop the fire by breaking up the streets in its path. They pulled up paving stones and shoveled sand, grit and horse manure in front of the burning river and eventually they were successful in putting the fire out. In all, it was one of the most destructive fires in Dublin's history, destroying many buildings on numerous streets. But surprisingly, no one was directly killed. This was put down to the swiftness with which the area was evacuated, and even in the rushing of the crowd, no one was killed. However, of the 24 hospitalised from drinking, 13 died of alcohol poisoning. That's right, a raging fire killed 13 people, and the only casualties were from drinking. They survived the fire, but killed themselves with the whiskey the fire poured onto the streets. Only in Ireland. Of the 5,000 barrels of whiskey, only 61 were recovered. Although not all the barrels were destroyed, the authorities arrested a number of drunkards caught robbing barrels from the burning building. How many people literally risked life and limb just to drink this fucking whiskey? I still can't believe the prospect of free whiskey was so enticing to these people, they literally drank it off the street from a burning river until their bodies couldn't take it anymore and they died. A few pigs were killed in the fire, sadly, and it was reported a dog died several days later in unusual circumstances. Some lad in the area had his door open and this crazed dog ran in smashing up the place and attacking him. He had to defend himself with a stick. Then the dog ran upstairs, jumped from the top floor and killed itself, or as it was reported, terminated its existence in the road below. It was thought the dog was suffering withdrawals from the whiskey it had been enjoying in the streets over the previous days. So there you have it. In Ireland, a whiskey storehouse caught fire and 13 people and a dog literally kills themselves over it. Like I said, it's a little sad when you actually really think about it, but sure, look, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And if you don't subscribe, you'll die. That's right, folks. In addition to the amazing value you already get from subscribing and seeing all of my future content, if you subscribe now, I will throw in the added bonus of not calling in a hit squad after you. I probably won't call it in if you don't subscribe either, but why take risks with your safety? Your life is in your hands, ladies and gentlemen. And if you subscribe now, you'll never have to miss another amazing Cukeser video, and you'll never have to die. Cheers.